this week on Latter Day News. One of the best things we can do for children is to ensure their parents remain healthy. The church partners with UNICEF to give COVID-19 vaccines to almost 200 countries. Got a boy, Mo. Keep it going. Keep it going. And Cosmo takes the stairs. But first, the headlines. I guess it seems kind of weird a guy like me is the one to teach you. You're definitely not like my priest. How come they call you sisters, but the dude's elders? Mission Stories opens in theaters on May 7th, and it's the latest independent film on the life of missionaries. The film focuses on the conversions of a family, an addict, and Chuck, who steals a Book of Mormon from a hotel. Respect to this course and the master, Shota Hayafuji, his caddy. Really neat moment there, and then this master's moment. You wait your whole life for it, slip on that green jacket. Golf champ Hideki Matsuyama takes the big prize with member Bob Turner at his side. Both were, both were right up there at the top of my list. However, I would say the third round yesterday here at Augusta National was even better. Bob served his mission in Japan and is Hideki's interpreter, manager, and friend. The BYU Cougarettes kill it at Nationals and take home the 2021 hip hop title at Daytona Beach, Florida. This is the 20th time the team has won at Nationals. With volcanologists saying eruptions could continue for up to a year, it's unclear when they'll be able to return to what is left of their homes. Almost 50 members are now living in a church meeting house after the recent volcano eruption on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent. The church is also helping to provide food and water to almost 20,000 people that have been forced to evacuate their homes. We can have fun helping our children build spiritual resilience at any age. The Harvard Symposium for Prevention of Child Abuse uses two talks from this April's conference. The talks came from Sister Jones and Elder Holland. With Cosmo, taking the stairs has a completely different meaning. The BYU mascot pulls off his latest stunt, going the distance as he walks on his front paws down the stairs. He's still going. I will just keep talking so you can just see how far he goes. <laughs> the cat ended up doing 192 stairs. And that's the headlines. This week on Temple Updates, the crane lowers the statue Moroni on the Richmond, Virginia Temple. Kundi 2 million man hours na walang accident o walang injuries. Congratulations sa bawat isa sa atin. And the Urdaneta Philippines Temple celebrates 2 million safe work hours without incident. As we strive to follow Jesus Christ, we embrace the commandment to love our neighbor and reach out to those in need. And finally, Latter-day News concludes with Bishop Kosei's thanks to UNICEF and church members for help with pandemic relief around the world. Currently, LDS Charities is helping 196 countries get COVID-19 vaccines. We are pleased to offer a $20 million donation to UNICEF to support the Global COVAX project, which seeks to provide 2 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses to vulnerable populations and healthcare workers in over 90 developing countries. This donation is in addition to more than 1,000 other COVID-19 relief projects the church and its members have supported in 152 countries. UNICEF's executive director also expressed thanks for the church's donation and support. And now, in the face of COVID-19 pandemic, Latter-day Saint Charities is stepping up once again with a significant donation. A donation that will serve and save lives around the world. Bishop Kose also expressed his deep gratitude to members and others who made this significant donation possible and is looking forward to a brighter tomorrow. As members of a global community, we hold hope in our hearts, not only of overcoming the pandemic, but 
of seeing a brighter future for all children, their parents, and their families. This future becomes a reality as we follow the example of Jesus Christ in loving our neighbor and seeking out those in need. Next week on Latter-day News. I did not think that there was any way that I could forgive the person that killed my brother. So I asked God, I said, please, I want to do this, but I can do it. Help me to do it. And I got down on my knees and I, as I was praying, it felt like someone poured cold water on my head and it washed all the way down to my feet. Hear the heart-touching story of one man's journey to forgive. Come back every Friday for more Latter-day News.